Hello everyone, this is Father of the Everchosen back in Total War Warhammer 2 on our Von Karstein campaign. And we're just going to hop right into it. We've got Vlad up here going for Nagenhof. And over here in Eberheim, we've got Eben von Liebwitz, the Elector Count of Wissenland. Um, he's going to siege Eberheim uh, this next turn. And hopefully, between Isabella and Malsar, I will be able to quash their army. I've got quite a few regiments of renown here, and I'll just throw them all into Isabella's army. She is the better choice. And we'll keep Malsar with just those few forces. And I guess we're at an end turn. When they start to siege, hopefully they're going to have taken at least... I, cannot. I mean, they're already sieging, but hopefully they'll have taken at least some attrition. Abraham... Abraham's um, garrison is, is pretty good. Um, just having Spirit Leech will be helpful and having this small air force go take out that mortar and it's kind of odd that the army sieging me I don't get to see but hopefully we're able to hold Abraham we've got Manfred back he's building up a small army and um, I guess we'll uh, we'll see this next turn so hopefully some of you guys have caught the first two episodes of the Vampire Count Quick Battles. I definitely feel like I'm learning a lot there. And hopefully it will be beneficial. This could be interesting as well. Isabella has some decent spells. I think she has Wind of Death in here. I think it's this next one. Yep. So perhaps I can. Um, Definitely with having these Black Knights and these Fell Bats, it should be able to take that Mortar out. So we'll jump into this battle. At the very least, it pulls Eben away from Abraham, and he'll lose a number of troops. Hopefully, at the very least, I'm able to keep Abraham. Obviously, Isabella, as a Legendary Lord, she's going to come back. But back to the quick battles, I think I'm learning quite a bit, and playing as the Vampire Counts, I think it's only going to improve my gameplay, seeing as the AI is only so smart. But we will, we will see. 13, we'll start with that. That should be adequate enough. Can I? Hopefully, the Dire Pack will be able to get over here quick enough. We'll put the um, Feasters in the Dusk here. And I guess we'll just have the infantry all kind of uh, in a line, more or less. This should be enough to avoid any mortar fire. And we'll send the Tithe Zombies out almost right away. And we'll keep these crossbowmen right here in the back and Isabel is up in the air as well so start battle start moving up we'll bring over the dire pack and we'll start moving everybody out wherever they need be we'll hit our king conduit right away hopefully I can get a Pretty solid um, chunk of troops. Looks like right in through there will be pretty good. Oh yeah, right in through there. Just rolling right on through, racking up 274 kills. We'll start moving people into place. The Dire Pack will end up singling out those um, the mortars. And 
hopefully dropping these zombies right here will keep even in place. Try to cycle charge out here. And we'll start moving some more of the troops in. Isabella, hopefully we'll be able to take down even. The dire pack have them target these uh, ranged units. And right now it's pretty much just going to have to wait on uh, any additional spells. These two's in the dusk will keep chase. These swordsmen are really kind of the problem right now. But hopefully we'll be able to break off and get a nice rear charge in on you know, these baseline soldiers. Arcane Conduit. Overcast and Invocation. Just keep our guys alive. And it looks like it's going pretty good so far. We have to pull out our cavalry. And these summoned zombies are going to crumble here momentarily. Once even drops, we should be in a much better position. Move these fell bats over to those crossbows. But all in all, I think we're going to end up being pretty successful here. Get some healing over there. For a life. Go. And hopefully having Isabella yes. right in there with the rest of our guys. We'll give them enough of a boost. Drop some more summon zombies there. Bring the dire pack in. And if I can charge from unit to unit, should be a big boon. Let's pull these guys back. Isabella should be keeping everybody from crumbling for the most part. Find your target. Pull these cavalry back down this way. And I'm a little hesitant to fast forward right now, so we're going to just keep it at regular speed. And hope for the best. Another arcane conduit. And hopefully can get another invocation off here in a minute. The dire pack is losing out. Perhaps I can pull them. And looks like the enemy army ended up taking too much of a leadership penalty. We're gonna pull our guys back. And hopefully, with the few remaining fast units I have, I'll be able to chase down enough where whatever they end up having to reinforce the army sieging Abraham, it just it won't matter. here by Isabella. And play. We'll see if we can at least group these units up. Should have enough time 
with the cavalry still being out and about. Get them healing. Then I can send everybody back. And try to kill off some more. If I can drop a little bit of healing on these uh, cavalry. But I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Nope, I did. Hopefully those Black Knights can heal at least a few models. We're at 31 right now. A Pyrrhic victory, but, you know, he lost 1,200. I lost 800. And their Elector Count has been sent packing. So I would say definitely walked away with the, the better of that. And Isabella ended up walking away with 342 kills. I think it was like 270 were just from that first win of death. Yeah, look how many of these are just dead. So dead rise again on these skeletal warriors. Some good loot. And we'll dominate captives. And we'll have to fight yet another battle, but they don't have any artillery. And they have much less ranged options. So I should be more than uh, more than equipped to take this out. Perhaps Isabella can pretty much solo it. With minimal help from probably the Black Knights and such. We'll put the feasters back where they were last time. And I don't mind this time because I know there's no magic and there's no uh, artillery. Start battle. Drop an arcane conduit right away. And hopefully, you know, a nice, nice win to death right down the line. We'll do it. Mm, probably a little too early. More than a little too early. Still, 65 kills. Not a terrible number to walk away with. Keep everybody moving. We'll send the bats and the dire pack up that way. Hopefully we can pull Isabella in here. We are Get her back up off the ground. And she's not taking enough damage for me to be too worried. Spears are getting out of position a little. Alright, his lady. Mm, go willy-nilly. So I should be able to walk away with a pretty decisive victory here. Hopefully I can pull the dire pack out. I don't wanna have to wait for them to replenish. Isabella's in here. Still doing pretty good. If I need to, I can drop a wind of death. Here. Which I think I may do. Just a tiny bit. Should be enough. Alright. 
she's got 96 kills now on the back of their lines. We're pretty, uh, pretty damaged. But hopefully after this, Abraham will have been saved. I can rebuild this army a bit more, and we can start attacking uh, Wissenland, since their country is quite reduced uh, power-wise. We'll pull the Dire Pack to take out the Arch Lecter. He should be easily killed off. An invocation just isn't worth it since these troops were heavily damaged before the fight. But these zombies taking on those spears. And these crossbows are just really doing good right now. This belt is going to need to go over here and help out the Dire Pack. I can give them some healing. Swiftly. Drop his melee attack to dirt. And have the cavalry come in here and charge. Come on, Isabel. Feasters in the dusk should be fine to take them out now. Especially with the crossbow support. So in the end, they've lost both their Arch Lector and their Lector Count. And uh, Isabella is going to gain some pretty good levels here. Or at least I hope she will. Feasters drop off. And infantry stop pursuing. Nope. Reverse that order. Infantry stop pursuing. Then we'll fast forward. Hopefully able to just kind of mop up these troops. The captured. I'm going to help replen. And should be able to heal these four units. Hopefully enough. We've got 19 unit models on the cavalry. Got it back up to 22. Not crazy good, but enough. 24, 25. Perfect. Up, oh, back up to 31. And we'll end the battle there. A decisive victory. So things are starting to turn up. Isabella's got this nice elite army. Or semi-elite, you know, 185 kills on these Sylvanian crossbowmen. It's just excellent. And she walked away with 130 kills. All but 66. So... Abraham was definitely saved. And I should be able to map, mop up these two. Probably using Malsar just to get him the experience. And we grabbed the Gurnison Kron, physical resistance and post battle loot. Oh, and we completed one of her quests. And as soon as I move, Vlad. We should uh, complete that quest. Probably just gonna keep him raiding. 
And she's got her quest battle now. But I don't think her army is suited to take it on just yet. Her thing, magical reserves. And Isabella is level 12, so we can grab the last, the Witch's Laurel. And, hmm, so Felbats, Dire Wolves. So either I can improve that one Felbat or the Dire Wolf that I have. Or I can say, no. We'll grab Devastating Charge so that we can work up to Bloodlust and then Red Fury. So we'll move Isabella into range to support. And a... We'll probably just auto-resolve that. We lost the Tide Zombies. Not too concerned. Grab the potion of speed. Park mouse are there in Abraham. And we're gonna have to move Isabella up so that she can hit Flensburg here. Next turn, so we can get that province back. And Let's see where we can upgrade. Here in Castle Dragonhof. No, we gotta wait still. Hmm. Castle Templehof. We'll grab the Cursed Field. We'll upgrade Schwarzhofen. The moot just. The moot is a good province for the Empire. Because you get. Um, the halfling building, but the moot is just not a money maker for anyone else. And we still got, you know, the dwarves knocking back here, which is unfortunate. Let's just grab some basic skeletal units for Malsar. And what can Isabella grab? Also just some basic skeletons. And we'll have her, I guess, run with that army for now. Manfred's got two coming. We'll grab two Vargites for him, so in two turns he'll have enough where he can kinda come and support. But I'm I'm Nagenhof has a pretty good garrison, and I refuse. I don't. Not having Vlad have all the spells. I mean, yeah, I've got Purple Sun. I am invincible. You know, we'll move him this way a little more, and I guess we'll end the turn there. So hopefully, we can end our. Our wars here pretty uh, swiftly and if I can make peace with the dwarves that would be yeah because they're just gonna keep harassing from the back and there's very little I can do and we've got the dwarves of Zufbar now breathing down our necks I do have quite a large selection of, or not lar large selection, I've got quite a bit of money. Let's see, I'd like to wait and get the public order, but it's gonna, I may need two more. When I could awaken one of these Upkeep for all heroes. I've got quite a few heroes. Let me see. Does it break down? 
my... Oh, come on. Oh, oh, right there. Army upkeep detailed. Expenses. Hero actions. No. Unit upkeep. I wish it would tell you exactly how much upkeep your individuals are taking. So I've got three. Steinberg, who is 300. Melissa, who's 404. And 300. So that'll cut 150, 202, and basically another 150. So I'll be making, what is that, an extra 800 per turn, and I'll have access to a Lamian Lord. You know, we're going to go with that. And we will recruit. And she's got Master of the Black Arts. Station her in Drakenhof. And hopefully I can grab at least enough for her to start off. Oh, we'll give her the Gurnison Prawn. We'll kind of kit her out pretty good. Give her the Opal Amulet. Hmm. Dawn's done. We'll go with Potion of Speed and Arns of Paul's Black Horror. And I guess we'll give her Treasure as well. And then, can I recruit a hero? We're almost full, but. I can grab this gentleman and start him off with just having an overcast invocation so that we can keep her army afloat. She'll be defending Drakenhof. She's got a pretty good garrison here. She should be fine. And Manfred will become active next turn. Maybe I can take off Zagoth for some easy experience. Does Vlad have... He does not. We need to get Vlad Lightning Strike. That would be pretty helpful. They've got a huge army over there now. So if I can move him... I guess we'll have him Siege Essen. Obviously they don't have anybody, so the Scarecrow Banner isn't going to be super helpful. But we'll build it out like that. Maybe I can at least move some of them out. And Isabella's going to come and take Plunsberg. I don't know why it's giving them that good of odds. They've got a mortar. But hopefully, after taking Plunsberg, um, just having that province back, generate a little more income. And then we'll probably have to turn Isabella right back around and go knock the dwarves around some. If I can make peace with the dwarves, either Zufbar or Karakirn, hopefully Karakirn first, I should be able to get it where I can start getting Graveguard in these armies. And then I can just kind of have an army walking around. Uh, and actually, you know, fighting. This shouldn't be a super large set of reinforcements. But we'll send enough stuff over to be, you know, a threat. And we'll set up off to the side. Start deployment, start the battle. Oh, nope, it's the mortar, and we've got the general over here. Yeah, 
Isabella should get over there relatively fast. Put the feasters over there. Set up just a slap dash line. be enough. And we'll start scouting with these cavalry. Mm. I don't mind fast forwarding it at this point. We've got General of the Empire, Crossbow Men. Oh, back up. Start advancing our line. Over there, Easters. Start moving these guys this way. And then after this, I don't know. See, part of me thinks that we should go and take Essen. Part of me thinks, I don't know. We've got to, we've got to knock out one of these these opponents. That's paramount. up a little bit more as well. If you want to keep walking towards the wind of death, go be my guest. 41 kills, not crazy good. Get that. Invocation. We're gonna get that uh, arcane conduit back up. I don't know. Excellent. Have those zombies bog down those units. Hopefully, I can keep the feasters around. I really do like having them. Just a nice quick unit. Help harass in the back lines. They're still doing pretty good. Isabella should be able to take out this general. And hopefully it just it just works. But we can fast forward yet again. Pull these cavalry off and pull them back and pull them this way. Just a nice, nice heavy charge right into the rear. And that's all she wrote. Starting to look up. We're winning, we're winning our battles. Reclaiming provinces, hopefully. Hmm. Maybe instead I should pull Manfred to Isabella and have Manfred and Isabella going. Knock the dwarves around. So, Flensburg is back under our control. Start getting some growth again. Isabella. Level Isabella up. Devastating charge, bloodlust. Hmm. Yeah, if I pull, maybe Manfred will have to come this way first. And knock these dwarves around. Oh man, that is Dwillendong Von Hall. That is just that's a terrible name. Oh man, she almost needs to be renamed. She can still be a Von Hall or a Van Hale, but oh man.
Oh. We'll just go with Hera for now. Just it may be a placeholder. If anybody has a better name, but that Dwellin Dong was just that wasn't wasn't gonna work for me. Essence still being sieged. Or no, that happened this turn. We'll issue our commandment here real quick. Let's grab some cavalry from Alsar. Oh man. Yeah, I think the dwarves are gonna have to be our focus. Manfred should be able to hold up here. He's gonna retreat. I don't care if I have to fight units, but you know, they don't have they've got Plenty of uh, plenty of heroes, but unshielded spears. That's it for their uh, for their infantry, and they do have quite a few archers. But I should be able to hopefully take them out with spells, and depending on where their reinforcements are coming in, and with Vlad's ability to vanguard. Should be able to just head them off right away as they come in. And the biggest army is already on the field, which is great. Um, well, maybe this this army could be just as big. But we've got people coming from our rear right away. And we will stretch our line. And we'll grab... These guys, and these guys, and that will more than likely be enough, and we'll have our huge group of cavalry, because unfortunately I don't know if this is the 1200, or if that's one of the smaller ones. If it's one of the smaller ones, it would be nice to just have my cavalry be able to go in and swoop and take them out. But if it's the 1200, I would lose the cavalry. And I definitely don't want to lose my blood knights. I'm going to have everybody else just set up right here. So, it looks like two of the groups are coming in on this side. them come and support. We'll have everybody else pulled this way. And we'll spirit leech this arch lighter real quick. good chunk of their army is going to get destroyed right here and now. Where is Vlad? Vlad should be fighting this general. These crypt ghouls are losing because of the Arch Lector. But hopefully with taking out that Pretty large force. Oh. It looks like they're kind of leaving some of their more valuable units exposed. Their, their range is just going to be their most valuable here. That arch selector is going to try to get off the battlefield. Fine. Oh, maybe not. General of the Empire still fighting. Just losing one unit right now. I should be able to save him with that. Heck, he's supported by two very skilled heroes. Our 
And yeah, it's probably good that I didn't. This is a pretty sizable army. Come in here. If I could just get into their back lines. Start taking out some of these archers. Having to split my attention is definitely uh, a detriment. Move Vlad in. A little more support. Alright. Looks like he's leaving some groups pretty exposed. This is a pretty beefy target here. Two archers. Should go down relatively easily. Unfortunately, everybody's just like so tied up. We'll wait to commit before or until we have the rest of this ready. Or at least get some spells off. Can probably fight right here in the woods. It won't do us any harm. They want to commit some archers to fighting my cavalry. They can go right ahead. I will not. I will not say no. Even if they get their spears up here, it's going to take them. Too long. And we'll pull them back. And of course, they decided to attack the spears. Shit. Like I said, really trying not to pause. I know it's arbitrary. Alright guys, pull back, please. I wonder if I'm able to do this without pausing, it will also improve my multiplayer skills. So obviously you can't pause in multiplayer. Keep moving, dude. Got these three. And we'll start moving again. Up a purple sun. Hopefully, it'll go the right direction. I don't know if that probably won't. No, 38 kills though. Or roundabout 38. And once my army is all set up here, I'll start moving them as well. This was always going to be a pretty involved battle, but once I'm able to take this out, I should be able to hit Nagenhof right away, and then from there, take uh, Essen out. Alright, good enough. Start moving that way. Really need units to blob for the purple sun if I have to sacrifice a unit I guess I don't really want to obviously but if I have to sacrifice some dire wolves I think I'd rather sacrifice dire wolves than anything else And it may not even be so in the end. But I think I will probably be able to get a pretty decent number killed with that. And a spirit leech on them. Or on the, the arch lector. And these guys are out of position. 
very much so out of position. And this is giving me quite a bit of time to advance my army. Nope. And we get to pull the Blood Knights. That's why pull them through. Should be able to hit these archers. No problem. Vlad, give them some healing. And Vlad can pretty much just wait in. Should be more than more than comfortable with doing so. And our our white king can stay up to that flank. Let's keep moving our cavalry. Should be all right. Power recharge ability. Hmm. Now, does that reset the cooldown of Arcane Conduit as well? I guess I'll have to check here in just a moment. Don't think it does. But if it did, I can't say that I would be opposed to it. Gotta keep track of these guys. She should be fine. She's got 25 missile resistance. Should be more than enough to keep her going. Yeah, it does. It works on Arcane Condor. Which will definitely help. Vlad should be fine in there. This White King should be fine over here. Swiftly. Pull the Blood Knights through. I'm getting bogged down in archers. Another Arcane Conduit. Now the choice will be... Will it be better to try to blob up more units? and do another purple sun, like right in here? Or would it be better to save them for invocations? Because purple sun is expensive. I think I'm gonna have to save it for invocations. Use an invocation there. Come on, Blood Knights. If it was just the Lord, I'd be fine. But it's not. Let's see if I can extract this cavalry. Should be able to. Get in on those archers. My heroes are definitely what's going to make or break this. in place. Blood Keep moving the Blood Knights. Here, to here, to there. That should be enough movement to keep them. While I pay attention elsewhere. It says she has a favorable advantage against them. I don't see it right now. And it's just Hail of, of of archers, and that's pretty much what's done me in every time. Is just this huge pouring of archers. Now, hopefully, with frenzy and the anti-large bonus, they can take out Wolfram, Hartwig, King Conduit. Vlad's doing fine in here. Drag the cavalry yet again. Lord's dead. That'll be helpful. 
Now these Blood Knights can just kind of mop up units in the back. Pull her out. Oh, everybody should be fine right now. Keep, keep the Blood Knights moving. It's going to be the most important thing right now. Just keeping them moving. Actually, let's get a rear charge there. Move her away. Blood Knights should be fine for a few more seconds to fight there. Lab, we definitely need to get access to zombie summons. We're gonna heal up these Black Knights. She should be alright for a few more seconds in there without triggering any of her abilities. White King has just tanked this side for us. 122 kills. Yes. Obviously, Vlad's doing you know, what Vlad do. Blood Knights are doing what they need to do. Let's try to get a rear charge here with these Blood Knights. Cavalry is definitely what's gonna save this. If there if there's any hope of saving Black Knights move that way. Blood Knights keep moving. We need to get we need to get Vlad out of there. At this point, it would be really nice to drop a purple sun. They're shattered. Good. They're shattered. Get a nice devastating charge there. Lock them in place. Melee. Start moving him. And Blood Knights. Ooh. Apparently, I still have units way back here. You guys have probably been screaming at me for a while. Tell me to re. Uh, not, not even reactivate. Activate them. Those guys are lost. Keep her alive. Keep the Blood Knights moving. As long as we have these Blood Knights. And these archers need to stay gone. They keep freaking routing, but then they come right back. I wonder if she's getting stun locked in here. If she's even able to attack. <sighs> Might lose Sigwald up here in just a moment. Is Shatter? Vampire. Not a whole lot of Winds of Magic left. Really need units to start shattering. Okay, they ended up shattering, which is great. They are debilitated, but they're, they're running around with 400 kills. This world is mine. Mm, 
yeah, if I can still keep them on the fringes, just taking out, you know, units that are just easy to pick off. Keep them in this fight. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought Blood Knights were like, um, Death Guard, and that they healed while they were in combat. Which I think they probably should be. Obviously it would make them... I mean, they're already the best cavalry in the game, but it would elevate them, you know, that much more. Lock everybody in place. Oh man, Sigwald's gone, and yet again, you know, Vlad will probably walk away, or not walk away from this one. There's just, the odds are too high. But he will, of course, have walked away with, um, with, you know, the hamstring of this army, you know, well over a thousand kills, you know, the like. But in the end, that's not what will end up having mattered. It will only matter that, in the end, I had, you know, one of the best, you know, melee combat lords. I can pull her out. She might be able to use her mask to pull out. And if I can get her up in the air. Probably should have tried to pull her out earlier. I think... I'm going to be able to do it, though. I think she'll get up in the air. Yep, she's up. Are the Blood Knights crumbling? Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Land's gonna provide that leadership buff. Order of the Blood Dragon. I'm in your throat. If I can keep them near each other, perhaps. With haste. Noble of the night. Swiftly. At once. Perhaps it'll be best to back her up. We'll back her away. Mm, these two blood knights are going to poop out. Mm, maybe this one stabilized. He did. He stabilized. Somehow. Vlad, I guess, is just going to have to tank an army. The locks and units in place. Get some arcane condors going again. And Vlad. <laughs> Hopefully he can do it. Your time has come. Pulling her out is definitely, you know, what needed to happen. Gotta get up to six for anything, which is quite unfortunate. But their ranged units are all out of ammunition, so they're just gonna have to come in and. You know, fight Bled. Which is obviously a lot easier said than done. Still has a little bit to heal. 280. I don't know. Find me if you dare. She's obviously at her camp. But if I can get, you know, an invocation off on these guys. Of 
course I can move a little closer now. Alright. Now Vlad can get in here and take out this arch lector. No closer than what they're at right now. 28 seconds. Bow before me. Keep those units out. Attack. The Von Karsteins march. And as long as I can keep units off. Kneel before your master. We're gonna have to move again. This fight will definitely end up kind of coming down to the wire here. Just a few blood knights would be helpful. Obviously, I'm not going to get anything more than that. We'll bump his melee leadership. Vlad ended up having him route. She may be able to chase him down. And let's see if I can get a few more up and running. Got three now. Five now. All I've got to do is kind of keep her safe. Eight, nine, oh, what? And of course, some spears were able to catch me with my pants down. At this point, the most important thing will be making sure this this arch lector dies. Lock him in place. And the balance of power slowly swinging back in my favor. I know this is probably going to be a pretty long episode, but I think it's it's well worth it for a battle like this. Let's zoom in on old Vlad here. He should have just an absolute mountain of corpses around him. But obviously that would be quite taxing on the engine. But, you know, 404 kills for Vlad, 452 for the Blood Knights. As soon as this Arch Lector goes, it may be, that may be it for their leadership. What's holding it together right now? Difficulty modifier is four. Base value is 60, but Lord, their Lord's dead at, at minus 10. This Lord dying might push it over a little more. If Vlad goes, then we will be quite thoroughly screwed. Though. And he's, I mean, he's got, he's got 2,000 hit points left. So they're going to have to nickel and dime him for quite some time still. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Stay in the fight. Nope, pull this way, guys. Keep away. Alright, now that they are forgetting. Just gotta kill him and their leadership. Hopefully, we'll take another dip. And then I can just move them away yet again. Lock everybody in place over there. Lord dead. And does that compound? No. And see, I think it should compound the negative effects. Because they've lost, you know, one Lord quit the field, one Lord's dead. Or no, two Lords are dead. You know, and one of them, I believe, was their Elector Count. Now, I don't know how you would be able to factor that in, but 
I do think that they should be taking bigger leadership penalties. Now I need to make sure that any units that are routing need to stay routing. So I'm probably just going to have to fast forward and hope and pay attention. We'll drop back down. I don't think those blood lights would be very good in that situation. We've got shattered units over there. We've got Vlad still. Got trucking away in here. These guys need to shatter. You know, 27 leadership, damage sustained, exhausted. We need to just, you know, trigger army losses or something. And they're still not shattered. You know, they got 14 guys. They're being constantly assailed. But apparently they can still, you know, hold together. Keep moving. And if anything comes back from from routing, it's just not it's not good for me. Vlad's in there with 517 kills. All of them, all of them melee kills because he has no uh, combat magic. for another Arcane Conduit yet. Or, or it's not enough no time for Arcane Conduit yet. Vlad's... Vlad's doing his best. And these units still. Keep going this way. Let's keep those guys off here as long as we can, man. Pull this lady back. I just don't see it here, even at the end. You know, it, it really shouldn't be this close. She doesn't have a whole lot, but perhaps she can hit some of these units coming back. All she's got to do is break their leadership, which she should be able to do. She should be quite terrifying. But Vlad's going to crumble here, and that'll be that'll be all. Actually, Melissa may be able to hold it together, but just. She's not. She's not what I need. And they crumble. Valiant defeat. So in the end, again, I know that they get bonuses. And I know that I probably sound like a broken record and could have, you know, definitely done things a little different. But they ended up losing, you know, I don't know, 2,500. They lost more men than I did. And two of their generals died. You know, they just had basic Empire troops left. You know, I don't know why army losses don't trigger... You know, you've lost more than half your army, except for in that that one army's case. But, you know, dead. Dead. Quit the field. Quit the field. You know, they deployed almost 4,000 and they lost, you know, 2,600. But, apparently, that's, you know, okay for a faction of you know, living people, not, you know, undead. 
So. And, you know, it's not like... Um, and I, of course, lost, you know, my two heroes. And it's not like older Total War games where, you know, you've got to then go back and, you know, recruit, re-recruit those troops. These guys are all going to auto-replenish probably in two turns, and they'll be back up to a full, a full army. So everything that I ended up accomplishing, whether you think I accomplished much, ends up being you know, for naught, because, I don't, you know, an army of the lowest tier infantry could, you know, stay on the battlefield and can, you know, nickel and dime down Vlad von Garstein enough. So I guess, in the end, you, I really have to just not, probably those purple suns, probably shouldn't have used those, probably should have saved that that magic for healing in the end you know if i would have had those blood knights still able to fight would have been a, a much different battle spirally challenge Power stone. Switch lowers. Obviously, I know they've got you know, nasty skulkers in here and such. right in there. Drop another spear leech here. Oh, come on. Drop that spear leech. Alright. Magic it up. See? Broken. You know, I know that they're overwhelmed, and I know that they're a goblin unit, but you know, it happened almost instantly. And you want me to believe that, you know, basic Empire troops are going to stand up to an army of undead. I guess I just... I'm not going to. Can't do anything about it now. Just gonna have to move on and hope that this uh, next time I can just get it get it all taken care of. All right. And hopefully Manfred will just walk away with a little bit of experience. You know, yeah, I lost the, uh... No, I didn't lose anybody, I don't think. Which is perfect. And the bell. Yep. So. Unfortunately, the, the worst loss of that is um, Melissa Ratep, one of the two starting vampire uh, vampiruses, the hero that you get from the beginning. But I just have to find a way to get another. All right, and Manfred ended up leveling up twice, which is perfect. Grab him the Ring of Savania. 
the ebony orb will be the next thing that I can grab for him. And I guess probably build down here so I can get more um, lore vampire spells. Don't think so. Blessed Dwarf Warriors, yes. hopefully Sire. she can uh, hold on here. She's going to have just the invocation, which hopefully that's enough. Isabella is going to chase down this gentleman. Just some quick auto resolve. Null. Probably just going to have her skirt over and start sieging Null. And then work my way down. Supernatural horror. Curse the Revenant. Yeah, I know the dwarves are still back here, but I guess I'm not as concerned about the dwarves as I am keeping um, keeping the Empire off of us and taking Gnome and then, you know, being able to roll south. Dodermbach, this source of iron is good for um, Grave Garden and the like, and then... Now I can come back and focus on the dwarves. Let's see real quick. Grave time. The Barrel Legion. Is open to furthering the course of Military access. Still can't confederate. What? And Lucian. Unfortunate. Ostland. Kanakirn. Zufbach. Yes. Perhaps. No. Nope. Would have been nice to be able to make peace. I'm not even going to offer it to them. I want Grenstadt back. But I think that'll probably be a good place to stop. Um, you know, a setback up here. But hopefully this right here, being able to raise some dead, will... Um, I can, I can fill out Manfred's army, and he's going to have to hold. We've got this right here, this right here, and then it seems like there's another one up there. But if he can hold off the forces here, or perhaps he may have to come down and smack around some dwarves. Malsar. Here against Kedek here. Isabella seems to be the only one that's going to actually do halfway decent. But, like I said, this is going to be the end of, uh, I think, episode 6 of the Von Karstein campaign. So thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you guys are checking out some of my other videos, whether you like Warhammer or not. Um, I've also got you know, uh, Mountain Blade campaign going two episodes deep on that so as always if you like the content that I'm putting out here on the channel feel free to drop a like and subscribe and as always I've been Father of the Everchosen